yeah hello guys on today's video i'll be showing you how you can uh, make a slit by the damp part of your trouser and then now you can also uh, fix a edge protector on the trouser so this is one of the style or the design that make your customer always uh, coming back because they also always know that uh, you have something new for them so please I advise you watch the video to the end so that we understand everything on how to make the slits by the side on the easiest and the simplest method and then how to fix uh, the edge protector on the on the caftan dress and then the amount you can buy it and then where you can also buy the edge uh, protector which you can also fix on the caftan or use to make uh, some other designs i believe if you have been watching me or following me on my social media you will have seen the different ways that i've been using this uh, edge protector on a boot caftan and you can as well fix it by the side of your of your shirt that is the vintage shirt if you make slits by the side of the of the shirt so without any further delay let's get started so the first thing to do is to make sure that you have a stitch the material that is the trouser like this so you have finished it you iron it out and then you do the finishing of everything so this trouser is just having a rope in the front and the elastic at the at the back so this is it after i've already finished it i've ironed it out and then if you want to do the m now when you are drafting the trouser you make sure that the m you have a, you add additional inches so that the m will be able to up to three inches after you do the final finishing of the trouser so the next thing you have to do now is to load the out seam of this uh, trouser so that is the side that will be showing outside so that is the side in which you have to loose so that you'll be able to stitch whatever you want to stitch on the on the trouser so please if this is the first time you are checking on this channel you are highly welcome to nobuti fashion channel this is the channel that brings you the easiest fastest and the simplest method on how to draft cut or sew anything on a men's dress so please help me click on the subscribe button and then you turn on your notification bell so that you'll be able to enjoy over 150 videos on this uh, channel on a uh, different uh, topics i believe this channel is the right channel for you if you really want to learn anything on a uh, men's uh, dress so please after you have already opened the dress like this after you have uh, loose the out seam like this the next thing to do is to pick all the thread so make sure you pick all the thread so that the trouser will be able to look neat and then when you finally do the stitches you won't have a rough edge on the on the trouser so once you do this the next thing to do now is to proceed to the sewing machine so once you do this the next thing to do is to proceed to the sewing machine so this is it now after i've already lost the trouser so once you lose the trouser just place it on the machine like this and then you let it flat you open the stitches which we lose before and then you place it together like this so once you place it together like this with the other side then you measure two inches so measure two inches and do the notching notch two inches like this and once you do this two notching make sure that the notching end at the point where the stitches come across it initially that is the fault before we do the losing before we lose the thread the glutes make sure that it come across the place where the stitches come through so you do the same thing on the other side so you fold it inside like this you do the same thing on the other side and then you join the two together facing outside so then you measure two inches also so measure two inches here and then you notch it so once you do the notching like the we did on the first one so make sure that this one is also coming across the the line as well that is the four stitches in which uh, we have so the next thing to do now is to run stitches across the place we lose before so just turn it inside like this or let me use the other side so on this uh, gator now you on this gator now you bend it like this on that gator so once you bend it you place it on the machine so that you be able to set it very well so you run the stitches across the stitches which we lose already so the one we lose before 
that is the place where the stitches will come across so the next thing you have to do now is to make sure that it's come closer to the place which we notched before so the place which we notched before make sure that that stitches is very close to that uh, to that edge it's very close to that edge so you do the same thing on the other side and also make sure that when you stitch here you are stitching very close to the notching so you are stitching very close to the notching so you place it like this and then you run the stitches like like we did in the first uh, in the first place and that is it so you make sure you knit all the thread and you turn it inside like this so once you do this you pull out all the side you pull out everything by the side and that is it you do the same thing on the other side also voila So once you do that, the next thing to do is to turn this thing to the front. You turn it inside. You turn the other one inside also. So once you turn it inside, then you lay it this piece flat. You lay the other side flat as well. The next thing to do now is to apply hemming gum at the hem of this uh, trouser. So let me quickly do that and then come back. So this is it now after I've already applied hemming gum on the trouser and I use a normal hemming gum on my kaftan and even on my trouser hem so please if you want to know how to use a normal hemming gum and not remove from the after the after wash after you wash the person wash it it will not still be removed so please if you want to know that secret you can join my video my kaftan training on how to sew a perfect uh, fitting a uh, kaftan class in, in the description uh, box below so check the link in the description uh, box uh, below so how to use a normal hemming gum and then stain the thing will not uh, remove after washing after washing so you place it like this and once you place it like this then you do the stitches across the place we lose the stitches uh, before so that is why it's very important that your notching shouldn't pass across the 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 this thing the first uh, place we already stitch so you follow the previous stitches which we lose and that is it you need the thread you do the same thing on the other side also you join the two together like this after you have already pressed the, you have applied hemming gum on the two legs. So you place it like this, very close to the notching, and then you stitch it all through to the point where the stitches are uh, ended. So you place it like this, and then you do the stitches. And voila that is it so the next thing we have to do now is to fix the edge protector on the on the dress is to fix the edge protector on the trouser so on the slits now so you do the opening and that is all so let me click do that and also come back so you open here and then you do the so this is it now after I've already do the opening that is it. You can see how neat and beautiful the thing come out. So this is the edge protector now. This is the edge protector. You can see this at the place they are selling a shoe making material or you can also buy it at the place they are selling a bag material. Those that are selling a bag. So that is those that are selling a bag material. Those that are selling a the, the, materials they used to sew back which is a leather 
and some other accessories as well. So the this thing now is being sold per dozen, and then you can see a dozen for like 200 naira or 300 naira. So it's very affordable. So make sure you find it and then you practice uh, this uh, this video. It's very very awesome. The result is awesome. The result is awesome. So please make sure you try it out. So you just bang hammer the thing like this from the back. So there's a back side and also there's a front side. So the front, the back side look off a bit while the front side look so flat. And then once you bag it like this, make sure you did not disfigure the shape. Then you are very, very careful at the, the way you you armor the, the thing. So you fix the second side also from the back. And then just armor it like this. You can use the edge of the of the armor as well. For it to be very easy so that you not uh, disfigure the shape of the of the eyelids from the looking at it from the front. So once you do this that is all for for fixing the the edge protector on the on the trouser so this is the back now this that is the back and here is the here is the front you can see how nice beautiful the thing looks so please if you are here to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your notification bell and then you click on the like button as well so till the next time that i will be bringing you another amazing video like this again i believe you, you i believe you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to join me on the next uh, video i say thank you for watching and then bye for now